access to the trail. And I think there's some good points and some bad points. I have reservations about this and that because I don't think you're trying to do what's right. It's just... I'm not trying to do what's right. You're, you're trying... You're, yeah, you're, no, that's, yeah, you're trying to control the cost. But, yeah. Right. I think it's important that we have good communication with the attorney with some of the things that have happened here in the past. So, I just tell you what you're feeling, good. Okay. I understand that. I want a motion. Okay, thank you. See you now. I don't know how you feel. All right, you said roll call. But what you're really trying to do is use MTA and everything else before we use this. Because MTA has the ability to answer a lot of these questions that were being asked. The only reason, the only thing was a, it was a free ride when we had a retainer. But once the lawyer said, hey, or someone said, can you put this in writing so I can understand it better, that's where the cost came. Hmm. And that can be all done by MTA. And then if it gets into a harder question with MTA, then you have the opportunity to use the road and spend money. I already know we're going to have one question for the lawyers already from the parking rep, or the planning commission, for drugs. <laughs> they made a new law in the state of Michigan about uh, dispensers. And should we get, a, should we get, get on board or not? MTA don't. I ain't gonna give you no answer. But that's why I'm saying, it, MTA, you can ask MTA any question you want. And they will put it in writing. But these ones are gonna put it in writing where it's gonna be for fact and for good. Right, you. if it gets into the point where you need them, yeah. So, <clears throat> Roll call. So that's all you got to say? You have no more to say? Because apparently you can't I will I'll just let I will just let the board know that in the past. Now again, this is just in the past I've called the attorney numerous times because of the question about the services. Or are you just saying that you want me to have another person there? I mean, I just... That, you didn't say you had to be there. You don't have to you be there. You just got to talk to the person and tell them what you're asking. Um, that's the only thing that's about. You just talk to another person. You can talk to Tom. Say, Tom, I need to talk, call the lawyer for uh, this for you. He doesn't want to talk to me, he's already going to say no, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. But, that's all that is. You just tell me so what difficult. you're going to call. Huh? You're so difficult. Yeah, I'm so difficult, I guess. You just got to call him to say what you're going to call him. Yeah. That's it. And he can okay. say yes or no. Okay. That's all that is. That's, that's all that is. Okay, that's, that's all right. Um, so I, I don't... Not trying to stop. I just have another question now because you mentioned that. Are you just going to have someone just ask it? Have another person say, or are you going to have a record that this person says that we're going to do? Well, when you or whoever calls a lawyer and asks for that information, they should have the backing from the other person. Hmm. And it should be in writing, writing with the, the piece of paper coming back. You said I contact. Let's say it was you. You contacted me to call the lawyer. Mm -hmm. That should be on a piece of paper before you hand it out to any of the public, any of us. Oh, oh, I'm just trying to understand. What you could just handwrite it. I contacted Bruce before I contacted the lawyer. So, okay. so you're gonna problem. you're gonna have a, a piece of paper then. You're just gonna have a piece of paper that says I contacted 
this person, the other person has that feeling going to sign it, or do we want them to sign it? The other person can sign it. Okay, sign it. You can sign it. But you can come, yeah. And if he's already approved it, if he's already, if, let's say you call me on the phone. Okay. And I says, yeah, go ahead and call. Okay. When you, next time you see me, I can sign that piece of paper. Okay. Saying that you call the lawyer. And I'm put, such and such a Yeah, for this information. Just a little yeah, work on it. Synopsis. The one when we get the paperwork saying that the, what it is, and we already know who you contact, or, or who, who contacted you, who what. Is it something that you want me to write down on the mats after, after no. the motion here? No. You don't want me to record that? No, it don't matter. But I, I have a roll call. Yeah. So he's asking you, do you want to add it to the motion? You're saying no? No. What are you saying? Well, he's just going to put it in the minutes after, after the fact. I mean, I just... You can put it in minutes after. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, you got your motion now. I just, it don't need to be. Because I'm concerned about procedure because it's just something that happens. So that's just. But, but I, got, I have the motion now that by, by um, <coughs> Boiler, seconded by Gray, that two people are required before an attorney is called for the Planning Commission and Parks and Recreation Commission. The trustee liaison and the chairman for the ZBA, the chairman and one of the board of trustee members. Then for the zoning administrator, it will be the zoning administrator and supervisor. For the board of trustees, it will be two people on the board of trustees. That's my motion. Fortunately. Yes. Say Say me? Yes, yes. Gray. Yes. Point says. I will go with it. Yes. Yes. Further. Yes. Okay. There ain't a motion. But I will make a paper saying what we discussed. Mm -hmm. Okay. That will give everybody a copy of it. I'll make that paper. 